Okay, more ideal gas laws. And we're gonna relate the molar volume and density of gas to calculate number of moles. Uh, sometimes we'll be given density in like grams per milliliter or grams per liter. And molar volume, definition of that is 22.4 liters for every mole of any gas. O2 gas, neon, helium, doesn't matter, any gas. Okay, so we're going to use the molar volume of a gas at STP, that's the definition I missed up there, has to be at standard temperature and pressure to determine the number of moles of O2 in 44.8 liters of the gas. Okay, so we want the number of moles. We're given a volume. Okay, so we know we definitely don't have enough information here for PV equals NRT. So what we're going to do whenever you don't know how to start it, you're going to write down what you know. 44.8 liters. Okay, we also know molar volume because we wrote it up there and STP. So those two things together should signal to your mind, ding, 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 22.4 liters per mole. And so, because we know this, we it's a conversion factor. So we can use that 22.4 liters for every one Mole works for any gas, O2, helium, whatever, hydrogen. And when we do this, do the math, the liters are going to cancel. We're left with moles. Hey, guess what? That's what we wanted. We wanted to determine the number of moles. So this is going to be 2.00 moles of O2. So we could do something crazy and determine the molecular mass if we were given a density and a volume. So for example, um, so maybe we're given 2.0 liters of O2, density of 0 0.5, we're going to say grams per liter, why not? Um, at STP find the molar mass. What we could do is start with what you know, 2.0 liters. I'm going to scoot this down a, a smidge here, give it a little bit more space. Um, 2.0 liters. And we know STP would be 22.4 liters per mole. And so that could give us the moles. And so like, for example, 2 divided by 22.4, 0 0.09. OK. And then we could figure out the grams the same way, 2.0 liters, um, 0.5 grams per liter and that could be 2 times 0.5 easy and these cancel and those cancel that could be um, 1.0 grams and then to figure out grams per mole you would take 1.0 grams divided by 0 0.09 moles 1 divided by 0 0.09 is 11.1 .1 grams per mole. So that could be one way that you find molecular mass. And of course, there's several other ways depending on the problem.